telecommunicator, I'm the dispatcher, dispatch for police and fire EMS. A woman called and was frantic. She was crying. Popped out of his wheelchair and he's unconscious. Now he's like snoring. He's on the patio. And, when I and he was him, making what sounded like a snoring noise, which most of the time means agonal breathing. It's that very labored, um, sometimes they call it a death rattle almost. Is there a line for me? Is he awake? <laughs> no, but it sounds like he's snoring. And is he breathing? Yes. Lay him. Okay. You need to lay him flat on his back, on the floor. I did. Okay. Remove any pillows or anything like that, and let me know when he's flat on the ground. Okay. He's flat on the ground. Okay. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you how to do chest compressions. Uh, and again, just make sure he's flat on his back on the ground. When when I say go, you're going to pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second, at about two inches deep. Now, let the chest come all the way up between pumps, and we're going to do this until help can take over. I want you to count as loud as you can so I can count with you, all right? Okay. All right. Go ahead and start. Okay. Start. One, two. Yep. Four, five. Three. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and she didn't know what to do. So I followed our protocols through a program that we use, um, and which led me to CPR, and then have to calm her down, get her in a position, put him in a safe position to perform CPR, something she's never done before, and go from there. And was able to do that until first responders would get there and take over. Keep doing compression. Don't give up. Yep. We're going to keep doing this till the paramedics arrive. Keep counting for me. 25. You have to be confident. I mean, they're having, we say it all the time, the worst day of their life. This person is taking their final breaths, potentially, right? You have to be confident and assure them that not only do I know what I'm doing, but you're about to know what you're doing. And you're going to succeed in this. He's waking up. Oh, okay, keep going, though. So just be that confidence there and keep them focused on the task at hand, which is performing CPR. You know, and in this case. And how is he doing? Is he... Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Greg? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's him. I'm hearing talking. All right, very good. No, then, yeah, just stay with him. It looks like they're pulling up in front of the building right now. Okay. Do you know my name? No. Come on in. We're back okay, here. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. To save a, someone's life, or like you said, to get a win, it feels amazing. And it kind of sneaks up on you because in the moment, you're there, you're in the stressful situation. of You're completely wrapped up in it. And it may be five, 10 minutes, you may be off duty and then think back, and that's awesome. And we're kind of in a line of work where we're you know, gifted in that, to be able to save someone's life and have that feeling. And again, it may not hit you right away, but when it does, it, it's awesome.